Live from across the tri-states, this is KHQA This Morning. It's your news now. All right, 525, we're going to check in with Kristen DeGuri. Yeah. Once again, she is live out and about in Quincy. Hey, Kristen. Good morning. We're here at the Quincy Art Center, and we're learning all about its summer program. So what do you guys have coming up? Oh, we have preschool classes all the way through 12th grade and also adult classes coming up, all art classes, all materials, and also we have an art history lecture series coming up. And you guys definitely have something for everyone in the family, whether, like you said, you're in preschool or you're an adult. Now, is it important to kind of offer something for every age here? Absolutely. It's you're never too young and you're never too old. <laughs> and we're definitely showing people and we're giving them a sneak peek of some really cool classes we have this morning. Um, can you tell everyone about what we're going to be seeing? We're going to be looking at some clay classes and we're also going to be looking at um, masters, musicians, and makeup. <laughs> and that is very exciting because we have a volunteer who's going to be doing the makeup and it's going to be cameraman Mark. So you're going to make sure to want to stay tuned for that because we are going to paint his face. And we also, we're going to be doing kind of some clay sculpturing kind of, right? Yes, we're going to get you dirty this morning. <laughs> ah, yes, my favorite thing to do. So coming up a little bit later in the show, we're going to go ahead and dive into all of these things. And I want to know, have you ever been to the summer art classes here at the Quincy Art Center? Tweet me out and let me know. And her Twitter handle, at Kristen Aguirre. Kristen? Yeah, taking in all kinds of crafts. What's going on, Kristen? That's right. We are having a blast here. We're showing you at home everything you need to know to go to the summer art, art classes here at the Quincy Art Center. Now, you'll be expanding on different things like clay creations and face painting, but you also could be able to expand on a little bit of your art knowledge. And that's kind of what your series is about, right, Ellie? It's an art history lecture series, and it's going to feature women in the visual arts and Western culture. And so, why would you encourage people to come and check this out? Uh, I want everyone to know the significant role that women have played in art history, not only as artists, but as patrons, collectors, spectators, tastemakers. Um, so I'm definitely up for anything fun. that's all about girl power. Now, what do you hope some people take away from your class? Uh, I just hope that they will be able to recognize instances of female agency, not only in, in paintings, individual paintings, but also in... Uh, everyday life. Now it's also girl power which is awesome and I love but another thing that I love is free and yes. that is what your series is right? Yes it's going to be and um, the first one will be this Sunday May 19th from 2 to 4 p.m. Uh, free open to the public donations are accepted there'll be snacks. Cheese and um, crackers. Yeah. So it'll be fun. <laughs> and um, what is this first one going to be covering? Uh, the first one will begin with antiquity so it'll be Egypt it'll be oh. women mystics Hildegard um, it'll be Images of women as Eve or serpent, sort of goddesses versus she devils. Ooh, goddesses so, yeah. and she devils. Mm -hmm. Those are the only two role women can play. <laughs> no. All right. Well, we will Definitely have more not. information <laughs> on everything else here at the Quincy Art Center coming up a little bit later in the show. All right. We will stay tuned. Live at the Art Center this morning, getting involved in all kinds of crafts that you may not actually know yet. What's going on, Kristen? The Arts Center is going to be holding this summer, and that's Play Creature Creations, yes? Mm -hmm. And um, you're going to be teaching that, and this is definitely it's like going to be a fun family class. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. Is and we're fun. having ages from fourth grade to adulthood, right? Yep. So if you want to come with your family and make creatures. Ah, nothing's more exciting than making creatures. So I'm so excited to get my hands dirty here. So um, what's the first thing we do when people come into the class? Well, we can do all kinds of different creatures. We can do people, animals, combination stuff from movies or TV that you want to create or inspired by. But if you want to do something easy, okay. um, so start with a clay ball. Okay. Like that. And what you do is you want to make it stand up. So you just hit it on the table like that. And you could, you know, push it up like this. Okay. And real easy, just use by pinching, pinch up some arms like that. And they could be all any different kind of arms. Pull it up and then pinch it like that. Can mine be like little oh, yeah. chubby arms like mm -hmm. that? And you got, you got a head on there. So then go ahead and pinch up the head. And okay. you could pinch up around the neck like that. And as easy as pie, you've got a little character. And then what's really fun is when you take and you take that in there, you could make oh, eyes. eyeballs. Real All right. easy. All right, well, I'm going to continue to make my creature here. And coming up a little bit later in the show, AJ is going to show us how to make more of these kind of complex creatures. Um, so if you guys want me to make anything, tweet me out. Chad, Brooke, do you guys want me to make any sort of creature? 
<laughs> I love that you got excited with the eyeballs. <laughs> it's what we wanted to, I should tweet her and have her make me something. Some type of dinosaur. That would be easy. We hey, had Kristen. to do that. Good morning. Well, he's not a dinosaur. I don't know what he is. You know, he's still trying to discover himself. He's artsy, but we named him Igor. And I made him a little hat and ears and buttons. And he's so cute and I love him. And so, um, this is kind of a simpler way of what you guys, what you teach people in the class, but yeah. you show them also complex ways to make creatures, right? Yes. Um, so it's really fun to make like animal combinations. So we have here, this could be a dog or a little goat. But let's do something different and make okay. it have a bird's head. Oh, okay. How, about that? How do we do that? So I would take the face here, and you can go ahead and do it, and start pinching out a beak kind of like this guy. Okay. And don't be afraid. Just start molding it. Now, AJ, how did you get into all of this? I, you know, I used to love playing with Play-Doh growing up. So I was a, a Play-Doh fanatic. And I, you know, when I play with clay, time disappears. So I just want to teach people and share that fun. And this is definitely a family class, right? Absolutely. Yeah, you can come with your whole family and create. It's fourth grade to adult. So if you want to create creatures, come on in and have lots of fun. All right, well, we're going to continue to make our face here and take a look at all these other really cool creations that AJ made. Um, I'll go ahead and tweet out some pictures. And again, I want to know, have you taken a Quincy R class? Let me know. How did you like it? Um, and let me know if you would decide or you're going to take any one of those classes. Tweet me out at Chris Gear or Facebook me. I just tweeted her, but I'm pretty sure without her knowing, she's created a gopher. That's okay. what it looks like to me. Kristen Aguirre is live this morning at the Quincy Arts Center. What's going on, Kristen? <laughs> I do this every day when I wake up. Whoop. Well, we are going from clay creations to some makeup creation. So, Lana, tell us a little bit about the class we're going to be doing here. All right, well, the class name is um, Masters, Musicians, and Makeup. And so it's a mixture of master artworks, famous musicians, and in makeup. And we'll be kind of emulating them a little bit. I have any, some examples here. And uh, here's like David Bowie, and I am playing as a Ziggy Stardust. And so we'll be learning a little bit about maybe the pop culture icon or the famous artwork, and then painting our faces as um, they are. And then we're gonna do the portraiture as well. So we're going to set up the lighting and the background. So it's really going to be a complete process. This is so cool. So we have like everything from Maryland here. Yes. Like I would definitely want to be the, the Maryland scenario. And what are we doing with AJ here? Well, Look AJ, at this star. What? He had a special request and we're going with the musical theme. And so we started to do Gene Simmons. On him. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to finish out here. I'll go ahead and tweet out a picture of AJ. And then coming up next, I'm going to get started on it. And guess who my, uh, my uh, person is going to be? It's going to be cameraman Mark. Mark, Mark, are you excited? He is excited. We're going to do his face, <laughs> and we're going to show you how it's done coming up a little bit later in the show. So, uh, hmm. riddle me this. Kristen's going to do the makeup. Mm -hmm. Mark is going to receive the makeup. Who's running the camera for this, for us to see? Gene Simmons over there. Well, now it's the moment of truth for cameraman Mark. We are going to paint his face coming up next, and I want to know who do you think he should be? Marilyn Monroe or Lady Gaga? Tweet me out at Kristen Aguirre, and coming up next, we're going to paint that beautiful face. You're watching KH2A this morning. Check in with Kristen Aguirre, who's getting ready to paint some faces, or at least one face. Our cameraman. Yeah. It'll be interesting. What's going on? Good morning. Well, we are live here at the Quincy Art Center, and earlier I asked you guys if we should make Mark Monroe or... Lady Gaga, and the votes are in. Gaga it is. So this is all part of the Quincy Art Center, one of its classes you guys yes. have coming up, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get started. What's the first thing I should do? All right, well, you can see I kind of mapped it out, but let's start with the eyes. Okay. And you may know, you kind of put it on just like eyeliner. Oh. Yep, there you go. This is exactly how I put my eyeliner on every morning. <laughs> And so um, this is just kind of what you'll be doing with the class. And you, you guys will be doing makeup, but you'll also be kind of doing a scenery as well, correct? Yes, we're going to use some face paint as well as makeup. And this is only part of it. After this part is done, we're going to go ahead and set up the photo so it looks like the famous, whether it be painting or photograph. So it's really the complete package. Now, what made you, should I do his eyebrow too? Because the eyebrow is black. Uh, yeah. So what made you um, start this class or put it together? Because this is a very unique class. Well, I think I wanted to do something that combined a lot of different aspects of art. And this has a little bit of art history, a little bit of pop culture, 
a little bit of painting and uh, also photography in it. So it's a really, it's a nice mix that I think the kids will really have fun with. <laughs> You will definitely have fun with this. Now we only have half of cameraman Mark's face done. And coming up, I'll tweet out the final pictures. That's hilarious. And it's not even over yet. Mark's such a good sport. So He's look, just sitting there. Look oh for God. the final picture on Twitter.